Hey there everyone, my name is Rabbit and welcome to episode 123 of Let's Play Jade Cocoon 2. In our last episode, we knocked out Lilith Nest 3 and all of the bosses that were hiding in their respective ogre vines. And now we're basically ready and willing to head forward into the final island of the Lilith Nest, which should take us to the boss confrontation with Levant. I'm a little bit nervous and I'm wondering if maybe I should go ahead and use these just to get my team up to speed here. Especially if this is the final boss fight, I want to go in and, oh god, be as ready for this as possible. Okay, let's just do it, friends. I don't think there's really anything else left for us to do to prepare ourselves, so let's do this. Oh, maybe I should have saved. Oh, well. I have been waiting, Cal. Or should I call you the disciple of Elder? Hey, this is silly. Levant, just why are we fighting? There is no more need for words. You and your ten fight against. Defeat me and defeat Lilith. And end it all. As long as the forest is here. As long as Elrim is here, nothing will end. Elrim, god of the forest, whom men worshipped and feared. That is the true one. What is Elrim? God, the devil, or neither? Levant, didn't you teach me yourself? Don't lose to yourself. The forest is fighting desperately to live. We're just doing the same. Can't blame God for what you don't like. You gotta fight the enemy before you. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Just like you, Cal. Certainly, you might be able to open the path, but... Only over my dead body. Let's do it, Cal. No, Levant, we don't need to do this. Oh my gosh. Oh man, this makes me kind of sad, actually. I don't want to do this, Levant. I love you. But I understand what Levant's saying. Oh my gosh. That's so creepy looking. That's like the blue version of Earth. God damn, he does some serious damage. Woo! I need to not fuck around with Levant because we could die here. And we very well might. But that's okay. It wasn't that long ago that I had saved, so I'm not too worried about it. But it's still something to keep in mind. Okay, I want to do as much damage as possible. Water barrier? What? Where the fuck did you get this? I don't think we have that spell. It might have been one we missed or one we won't get until we're in the post game. We'll see. I think I'll stay on this side for one more turn and have Kahu do a minor heal. I do have a shield restoring item, so it's fine. I'm not that worried about losing one or two of Kahu's shields. We'll see how it goes. Come on, team. Oh my god, no! Deidre, please! Oh my god! Guys, it just destroys me. Can we at least poison him or something? I know he's a boss and we almost never get poisons off. Ha ha ha, but he missed too, so that's fine. But I really do understand what Ka, not Kahu, what Levant is saying. And it's something that was even alluded to in Jade Cocoon's story of the Tamamayu. Elrum is the god of the forest, and yes, he should be revered, I guess, in the sense that he brought life to all of the creatures. But at the same time, he kind of did set up this world in a fucked up way. If you remember the story of Alcana or the legend of Alcana, Elrum is just... I don't know. He seems kind of calculating to me, and I think he should be blamed for a lot of what has transpired in terms of the ill relations between humans and the beasts. Or I should say the beasts of knowledge versus the beasts of the forest. I'm not sure what... Ka not Kahu. Jesus Christ. Levant. I don't know why I keep calling Levant Kahu. But I don't know what Levant is 
aiming to accomplish by taking out Elrim, but I don't think he should really be viewed as the true enemy here. I do agree with him that Elrim is kind of the sack of shit in all of this. Wow, did he really bring all of his HP back? So do I need to... I don't know what I need to do. But lols, nice try. Maybe this fight won't be that bad, and maybe the only damage that really applies and matters is what you do to Kahu's... Okay, I need to get my shit together. What we do to Levant's body, not to the forms he turns into. I don't know, because if he... Seal? What are you doing? You better not try to instant kill Prissy Pants. That's not okay. But I do have a lot of items that restore my beasts or resurrect my beasts. I don't know what is with me and why I've been calling Levant Kahu. I don't think I've ever done that throughout this Let's Play. So maybe my mind is just at the point where it's like, Levant Kahu, whatever, who cares? I'm going to have to ask you to stop this. I bet that's an instant kill. Maybe? I don't know. I've never seen Seal before. Or maybe it stops your beast from casting anything. I don't know what it would do. But I'm not trying to see it. Levant, aren't you going to change into... Oh, God. Oh, the damage. That's fine. That is fine. I actually think we're doing better than I was expecting. This fight's not too bad. But then again, we're pretty prepared, and I think we have a great lineup here. Finally, anyway. Our lineup isn't totally trash. Stop it. God damn, what are you doing? Avant, why are you being such a dick? I've been so good to you for so long. Oh, that damage. Let's go it. What's wrong, Kahu? At this rate, you'll never defeat me. Are you kidding, Levant? Look at your HP and then look at how we're doing. You can only hide behind this thing for so long, my boy. It's pretty much over for you, and god damn it, Sheldon. Alright, so if I did do this over again, I would change Sheldon out. Because I don't think Shockwave is the best thing to have here. And this water barrier bullshit. You know what? I will just stay on this side again. I'll give Sierra a chance to get more mana up. And honestly, Merrick does some decent damage. And this should take it out. Yep. And I wanted to give Deidre another chance to gen some of her mana. But we're fine, guys. This will be nothing. But I am not sure that this confrontation is truly the last. I wonder if after we defeat him, then we'll have to fight Lilith? Perhaps the game would give us an opportunity, though, to run back. Because I know for me, if I have to use a lot of items here, I would like to restock on some things. But we might be fine. So far, so good, anyway. Maybe I should have got an MP back book or two. Well, no point in worrying about it now. Ooh, yes, baby. We are doing awesome. I hate that we're fighting Levant, though. I feel like us killing him almost seems like treason, you know? Like, Levant's the one who trained us and taught us the way. How could we do this? But to be fair... There really doesn't seem to be another way. But I wonder if Levant himself might be possessed by Kalma. So maybe we'll just knock the Kalma out of him. But it's also possible that he's been plotting this for a long time. And I'm just <sighs> hoping for a better outcome than what we will receive. I don't want to kill him though. But maybe it'll be good for him to rejoin Mabu. Okay, stop with this seal trash. Don't you dare fuck with Merrick. I think we're good now to rotate back through. Levant, why are you making this so easy on us? I mean, it's taking a long time, but it's... It's nothing. 
All right, get wrecked. I might stay here again for like two turns. Want to try to let Merrick get some of his mana back. To be honest, I'm shocked that Levant's not changing into more forms instead of just this one. This is what our Earth looks like. I think it, his name is Earth. He's the green drac that we have. God damn, that does so much damage. But it is no problem. I'll rotate back, heal us, and then I think I'll go to my fire side. And I'll give Merrick another turn to get his shit up. Arpatron? Arpatron! Arpatron. Wasn't that the name of the water dragon that was in Jade Cocoon Story of the Tamamayu? I think that's the one we started off with, or maybe it was Patatron. Oh my god. Oh god. The accuracy of this side is triggering me. It's so bad. Please, all of you, land your shit for fuck's sake. Okay, Deidre, come on. Deidre does so much damage, but she can't hit for fuck. So maybe I need to just stay on this side. We don't do as much damage, but at least we get damage off. But I don't know if it's really worth it. Oh god, I don't know. Well, let's see. We can be hopeful. I guess this fight will end up taking... Yeah, and he does regen a little bit each time he switches between. But that's not a huge deal. It seems like we're still getting him down and he's not transforming quickly enough to make a huge difference. Okay, Levant, whatever you say. Well, anyway, I guess I should have given you guys the update on this two episodes ago when we resumed with this recording session that I did get enough feedback to where what I am for sure going to do <clears throat> in terms of us doing the post-game content I am going to finish the main story and then I'm going to take about a three month break and then we will resume maybe it won't be a full three months it might just only be two months but I am going to take a break between the actual story and then the post-game story. So the way that's going to look is I will start playing something else and hopefully I'll be able to finish a game in the next two months, whether that is Undertale with my husband or Legend of Dragoon or maybe even Legend of Lagaya. we'll just see. Then I will come back and revisit Jade Cocoon 2's post-game content. So I'm going to just throw out that it'll be about three months. It might be sooner, but it shouldn't be later than that. So as soon as we get the final episode of this up, which might be this video, it might be the next video, I don't really know how that's going to all play out. I will like mark it on my calendar or something that at that point we need to reboot Jay Cocoon 2 and we will resume everything and sort of tackle the extra forest. I'm not going to do a bunch of like the grinding and I, I've never even dreamed of trying to 100% this so you guys should not expect me to try to get all of the comma or every single egg because that is it's just not happening I'm not doing it at all I don't aim to do it I don't want to do it I'm not interested in doing it but you can at least take solace in the fact that you will get to see the extra forest we'll get to meet the new sweet night mint we'll get to just see how everyone's feeling and you know just what's going to go down in the aftermath of the story because I know that's important to quite a few of you and I mentioned this on Twitter but I am completely astonished by how many of you actually like this let's play so Star Ocean the second story is my number one search it gets me the most views at least in terms of watch time it's my most popular let's play by far there's nothing to even debate about it. Like, all of my analytics constantly are showing that everyone loves Star Ocean the Second Story, and I get it. I put so much effort into that Let's Play. In my opinion, it's really well done because it is structured as a 100% guide, and it's a walkthrough, and I showcase all kinds of secrets and tips and tricks. I spent a long time getting that walkthrough completed for you guys. I, I can't even begin to say how good I think it came out. This is a bit of a humble brag, I guess. 
that I think it's the best Let's Play on YouTube of Star Ocean The Second Story. It's very well done. And yeah, I think in the beginning episodes I was a little too quiet. I was still tinkering with microphone settings and I didn't upgrade my microphone until like halfway through that Let's Play. But in terms of it being HD quality and the audio actually being good and the content being good, that's all there. It's an excellent walkthrough. It's, I think, the only true video walkthrough out there that shows you guys all of the secrets, at least from Claude's perspective. I didn't tackle anything from Rena's end just because I don't really care that much about her. But, oh my god, he has almost no HP. No, I didn't want to do this, Levant. You made me. Oh, so there was a comma inside of him. I figured. I have taken the darkness from the soul of this man. Okay, so I guess let me go back over here. Yeah, I have enough for everything that I need on this side. But anyway, to wrap that up, Stars in the Second Story is my number one Let's Play on the channel. Not only I believe in terms of its content, but for sure in terms of how many people search it and how frequently it's viewed with its watch time and just raw views, period. And I would have expected my number two would be... Well, I don't know, maybe like Jade Cocoon's story of the Tamamayu, or, you know, to be fair, I think my Legend of Lagaya is also a walkthrough, but it's not finished. But I can see why it would... What are you doing? Are you really turning... Wow. Are you fucking kidding me? This is some serious bullshit. I can't even believe it. You can larvalize my creatures? You asshole. What? Oh, that's Lilith. Oh, it's Lilith herself. <gasps> Lilith, ya bitch. I can't believe it's you. Wait, is this thing growing? Oh my god. Alright, so I guess this is the true battle, isn't it? Well, maybe I should actually cut this here. So we fought Levant in one video. I usually don't like to cut fights, but to be fair, this is almost like a totally different battle. So shall we do that, you guys? And then in my next episode, I'll talk to you more about Jade Cocoon 2 and why it surprises me that you guys like it so much. Especially since uh, Star Ocean The Second Story is my number one, and I thought like Legend of Gaia or like Jade Cocoon Story of the Tamamayu might be my number twos, but no. It's Jade Cocoon 2, which I don't personally get, but we will handle this second part of this battle in our upcoming episode. We will take on Lilith. Whom is looking to be potentially annoying with her larvalized bullshit and the fact that the things that she summons seem to be able to grow, but they don't have too much defense. So I think we've got this in the bag, but it just might take a bit of time, and I don't want this to be like a 26-minute episode. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. I appreciate your support. I cannot believe we are so close to the conclusion of the main story of Jade Cocoon 2, but I am excited that we are almost here. So let's keep on going in our upcoming episode.